hi everybody i'm back i had to switch to my cell phone again so hopefully this video i ain't that bad because some, for some reason my ipad is not i can only film for like seven minutes that's crazy you know what i'm saying anyways so this segment is going to be called what's bothering me and i'm going to talk about 10 things that's been bothering me this week like getting on my nerves so the first thing that's been bothering me is the fact that people keep on reposting these videos where folks is kissing like i don't care how you kiss your boyfriend or your girlfriend like why do we need to see that on fake on social media like if i'm not in the room with you and if i am in the room with you have a courtesy in the comment do you not be kissing all over your boyfriend slapping them down like that like i think that's nasty and it's no reason for you to be sharing that and then you gotta think about it like you might not intend for it to be seen by minors and children that should not be participating in things like that but those are the people that are sharing this stuff and if you're not going to be responsible enough to do it and then like parents need to step in too because i saw some people that's my age that have children that's been like reposting this stuff and then your children on social media so like that's not setting a good example and it gets on my nerves like i don't want to see you tonguing nobody down on social media and like it's nothing to like about it it is nothing cute about it like oh this is how you kiss your boyfriend who need a damn tutorial like that's nasty like i don't like pda anyway but i'm not here for that like i don't want to see it on my news feed i really don't another thing that's been bothering me spoilers on facebook now i have been taking a scandal hiatus and where i was like i'm about to take this out where i was like you know i'm not gonna watch scandal until the mid-season like from i think it was like the third episode to mid-season right before they kidnapped her or whatever well this is a spoiler okay so right before they kidnapped olivia i stopped watching it because it had gotten so like ridiculous so i was like you know what i'm not here for scandal so i'm gonna wait and watch it after the mid-season finale goes off so i waited and the mid-season finale came and then like right before i think it was the day before um scandal was to premiere after like on the 19th or whatever that's when i went back actually i'm lying i just watched it like last week i watched all the episodes from like two before the mid-season finale three before the mid-season finale all the way up until last week's episode and i watched last week's episode when it aired now the thing that i have a problem with is that people constantly like i don't mind you tweeting or facebooking during the show i hate that you tell every damn thing like you don't have to be like oh olivia got on pink bloomers or she got on uh running her stocking like that's to the point where y'all going like that's too much detail I can't understand or, oh no hug didn't or oh so and so didn't or David did this you know those type of things because you're not telling us the people that did not see it or could not catch it you're not telling us what is going on you're just mentioning things that you saw right I can get with that but to be like oh my god hug just blah blah blah, blah like a whole three six, oh i can't believe y'all seen that i hate it with any show and scandal was my show and y'all used to do that with how to get away with murder so i'm glad that went off and well, hopefully y'all won't do it next hopefully y'all won't do it next um next term either i mean next season for how to get away with murder but that's what's getting on my nerves like even with empire i don't even watch empire but that's a whole nother video and y'all still continue to do it then y'all just keep on keeping on just keep on telling everything that's happening like y'all got real bad then y'all go to the movie theater and y'all don't want to tell us what happened at the movies like what kind of shit is that i'm just saying that get on my nerves um the Ferguson police shooting this week really got on my nerves. Let me tell you why. Because something, some, it's some smoke in this police shooting. And as the saying goes, where there's smoke, there's fire. And I do not believe that it's all what it is. You know what I'm saying? I feel as if 
it is a little bit more what's going on especially because i saw this thing with this man live on the news they were asking him to look at the trajectory of where the witnesses say that the web the bullets and they saw the sparks from the weapon firing that's why it's called firing because you see fire right so they saw that happening and it came apparently people was like it came from up the hill well the guy was like well i'm standing up the hill and you would not have been able to get uh you couldn't have shot over that many people's heads in order to like where the police officers were standing down the hill and across the street you couldn't have got a uh, um it wouldn't have been possible you know it, it wouldn't have been possible so I kind of was like hmm and then with tensions being as prominent and as loud I should say as they are I don't believe that you would allow your own to go and I don't see it happening okay so that's just what's bothering me like i i just don't i think it's a little bit more and i'm not the only person that thinks that i've heard two or three other people and i've seen it on facebook like and not saying that just because it's on facebook that it's true but people put their own personal opinions on there and i'm not the only one that thinks that this is kind of fishy another thing that's been bothering me is makeup Two things with makeup. So I tried this Revlon lipstick. I'm not even gonna name the name, the like the type of it or the the color. But I put it on last the film this video last time, right? And ten minutes into me recording a freaking video, it if I wouldn't have put on lip liner beforehand, like I would have looked a utter fool because it was nothing left but the lip liner, like nothing. And it's supposed to be like a color stay or something like that, but it was that color left like it just disappeared and it ain't even barely showed up and then another thing with makeup like i really do hate i've been hating this and hating this and hate but i am starting to see it again two things there is a thing called a blender brush okay and a, you use a blender brush to blend you use it to blend it's not you don't have to be a genius you take it you put your mask your eyeliner i mean your base on here your base eyeshadow you take that you don't even have to put a lot on there you go look put a little dab on there and then blend it until it's there you can see it is a visible uh color there if you want it to be visible i have on natural makeup so you really can't tell but you blend it right say for instance if i had on red it wouldn't be like a straight like you can see where my lid is and then where this part of my brow is, my brow bone line. You wouldn't be able to distinguish where the color stops. Like people be putting makeup on their lids and not nowhere else. And it just look really harsh, like soften it up a little bit. Even if you don't want to put anything past your lid, it still should be a little bit soft. Like you don't have to be, your eyelids should not be like screaming at me or something like that that uh, gets on my nerves another thing that gets on my nerves is this lip liner thing come on people like we have gotten away from the 90s almost 20 years ago like seriously the black lip liners the lip gloss you don't have to do that anymore that's why they have this chap that like this lip balm that's colored they have so many other things that you can do if you don't want to wear a lipstick they have gloss with colors. They have lip tars. Like, you can do a whole lot of stuff. You don't have to sit there and put that black-ass lip liner on your lips. And then put that glossy lipstick on. And then be looking like you, I don't know, a throwback Thursday picture or something. Get it together. It ain't cute. And that's all that's been worrying me about makeup. But I'm real mad with Revlon because that joint was like, I think it was like... I paid like $10 for that lipstick and I really don't like it. I really was mad because the color was not dark enough. It was like a, it should have been like a deep wine color, but it was more of a, like a, a pinkish reddish joint. The SAE Sigma Alpha Epsom. 
giới Sing my alpha epsilon. The fraternity that was disbanded at Oklahoma State University over the week, like Tuesday they got off the campus. Well, my issue with that is y'all acting like these mofos. This is the first time them white boys said the word before. It ain't. And it's not going to be the last. And they can apologize all they want, but the truth of the matter is they said it and even their dead mother said it and my thing is if you're if you find saying the word if you don't think that is so my thing is like if you feel as if saying the n-word is bad in any context whether it be if you don't want to say it because you think it's going to offend somebody then or you're offended by the word whether you're black or white whatever then you shouldn't say it in music you should not say that it should be no exceptions like it's not oh it's wrong but i was listening to this song and the song came on and so that's the lyrics like it's wrong either way it's no if ands buts about it like if you feel like it's wrong it's wrong no matter if you sitting there listening to your rap music and the word nigga come up in there and you singing along and you got a nigga, 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 like, and you grinning about it. You don't think it's wrong. You think it's funny. Like, it's no apology that can come from that that's going to be sincere enough for me to accept it. Now, I don't know what the rest of the, my brothers and sisters doing out there, but I can't accept that apology because you was laughing in the video. And had nobody ever seen it before, we would have ever never known about it and you would never be apologizing. So, that, my friend, is why I have an issue with that. I also have an issue with the other people that apologize because I feel like the only reason why you apologizing is because you trying to make yourself look good. Like... You done done it now. This was almost what a... This was taken like... Not even recently. This was probably like a year ago. And somebody got mad with y'all. And leaked them videos to TMZ. You better... Hmm. Them videos gonna get you caught up. Let me see what else. We done talked about Ferguson. We done talked about them people. Um, Facebook liars. I hate people that get on Facebook and lie. I really do. I feel as if you're going to lie on social media, especially about things that can be checked up on, then you just, you have an issue. Like, you really got an issue. You want to be, you don't want to be truthful. And then how do you expect us to be believe what you're going to say after that if you're going to continue to lie? Like, I saw today... <coughs> Like, um, somebody was on there saying that they was at this place and they really were not like location, like turn your location off. You hollering that you at Six Flags or whatever. And it's, ain't no damn Six Flags. <laughs> ain't no Six Flags where you was at, son. Unless they popped that joint up, it was a pop-up Six Flags. It ain't no Six Flags. That's like me saying, oh yeah, I'm in California. And my location say, I'm in Richmond. That's not working. Like, you need to check up on it. If you're going to lie, at least be, like, consistent with that shit. I mean, um, it gets on my nerves. Another thing with Facebook that gets on my nerves is you like when people be forwarding or sharing those informationals or whatever that don't be true. Like, oh, my God, this owl had a lizard tongue what the hell are owl doing with a lizard tongue and why is you sharing it and better yet why is the people under your shit commenting on it like oh my god i can't believe that oh my god we gotta do something about these owls we gotta kill them all like what the fuck you what do you mean you gotta kill them all this shit ain't even true it's not even true you just jumping on the bandwagon you need to read like stop sharing stuff that you're not reading about like it is it gets on my nerves okay thank you Facebook, since we talk about Facebook. Now, I hate groups on Facebook that say there are, we are the such and such. Like, okay, I'm into soap making. So, we're the soap makers of America, right? And our goal is to help other people join soap making, get into the soap making. 
I know, hobby or whatever. If you have any questions or tips um, that you would like to share, questions that you would like to answer or tips that you would like to share, please do. Um, don't hesitate to share and ask questions because everybody can learn, right? That's what the group things say, right? You get in a group and they be like, this is not a group for teaching. This is a group for sharing. But you just asked me to share and, and ask questions, right? But you, this is not a learning group. If you have questions pertaining to the procedures of how to soap make, then you need to find another group for that. That is not how. Why are you even a group? Change what you're saying. Change what you're about me part is for the group because you're misleading people and then when they do start asking questions you want to get mad and be like oh well we ain't this ain't that this ain't this you that's not what you said when i was joining the group or they'd be like oh well we are a group for a betterment of our people or we are a group that is for you know advancing our people but you ain't doing nothing in the group but talking shit about your people that's Dimitri. That's all you doing. Like you not doing anything but that. Like you, you good? Like you're not doing anything to help move the movement or to you know get us to point from point A to point Z. Like I don't see. I didn't see any. I was a part of this group and I didn't see anything like that was. You know, basically, I didn't see anything that I would consider service for the advancement of my people. I mean, if I, that's, it's the same way of me saying, oh, I'm going to start this group where we're going to feed 100 people and we never feed anybody. Like, that's the way I felt this group was, so I had to leave. So yeah, I hate groups that just like mislead people into like joining them just so they can get numbers. And then when you get there, you know what it's like? It's like applying for a job, but you think that it is like the best job ever, right? And then when you get there, you realize that the people are demons. It's the same way. We talked about spoilers. Okay, news reports. What gets me with news reports is the fact that people want to talk about all of the negative things when it comes to like other people. Like, okay, say for instance, the other day I got on the news, I got, I watched the news from like 10.30 to 12.30. And the only thing that they was fucking talking about was Pharrell and Robin Thicke losing that damn lawsuit. Like. Don't get me wrong, I'm all here for like if it's yours and it's mine, I own it and you need to ask me for permission. But I'm not here for to keep talking about that shit. Like that's not the only lawsuit that people done been in when it comes to freaking music um rights of freaking musical content. It's not and it's not gonna be the first and it it wasn't the first and it's not gonna be the last. Like who told you that was important to talk about? Who deems this stuff important? And just because it's trending on social media, damn it, I got social media. Social media, I can go to social media and see that shit. I don't need you to keep telling me what's trending on social media. Now, that's what get on my. That's what's been getting on my nerves. Talk about that. Talk about that. Okay, and another thing is before I get into the last thing, which is gonna be kind of funny to me. No new friends. I had recorded this segment last week, but I'm going to talk about it in this one because it needs to be talked about. I am sick and tired of you guys talking about how you don't need any new friends because you do. Okay. In order for you to grow and continue to grow and soar as high as you can, you need a change of app. You need a change of venue. You need a change of familiarity like whatever you you're fine with that's cool like i'm not telling you to get rid of your old friends but you need new friends too because your old friends sometimes they don't grow with you and you grow out of them and if you're gonna keep yourself stagnant then i mean if that's what you want to do who am i to tell you that you can't be stagnant i ain't trying to be stagnant i'm trying to 
go as high higher than high you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to be up there so if i gotta leave some of my old friends to get some new friends just so i can get to where i'm going then that's what i need to do and who's to say that like no the new people that you come across are not going to be put you in better positions to to gain things and i'm not saying like you always gotta be looking for something because i'm not like i if there was a thing called self-sufficient i would be it like seriously but it's not so you know i'm i'm something close to that so you know what i'm saying i i've gotten myself with the help of very few people you know what i'm saying but anyway you need other people to to work your cause like you need you're gonna have to um to to get help along the way and sometimes your your friends that you have today don't necessarily fit that bill like you're gonna have to expand and you know coming from a business owner's state of mind like if you have the same people around you all the time like you don't you can't um you cannot how are you going to expand like if your goal you know i have a business goal and my business goal is to be selling products by the end of this year like fully on full flesh selling them so if i only sell to my friends that i have now and their friends who how am i gonna be like a household name within the next 10 years like i'm shooting for five if i can get it but you got to use what you have, your mother. You have to use what you have in order for you to get, like, get somewhere. I mean, because waiting on my friends, I love them dearly. But honestly, I would just be selling stuff to my friends. That's the honest truth. Like, my friends are not people that are I look to as far as oh let me help you push this let me help it's been plenty of times where I was selling tickets for an organizational function and I ain't had no, my friends didn't even buy tickets okay so you know what I'm saying like you talking about no new friends you better get some new ones and the last thing that was bothering me this week it's been bothering me since like Valentine's Day really I ain't even gonna lie so basically two people that I followed on Instagram was beefing right and somehow in the midst of it i got blocked like how you gonna block ricky like it was petty but what i have to say what bothered me about that okay so let me go back i'm not gonna play the victim here i said something on like one of the trainers that i like adore i said something on that person's page i made a comment or whatever and I guess the looking who's ran back and was like, well, we saw what she put on there. This was after I had stopped following the other trainer, the bully. But then he, like, blocked me off his stuff. And, like, I was like, why would you do something like that? Like, I gave you my $60 for that whack-ass program. But anyways. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, you guys. Are you okay? All right, we're back. So yeah, like I was kind of upset about that a little bit because I don't understand what I don't like is bullies. So like you don't have to, but like I joke and talk about people that I know and people that I don't know all the time. I'm not going to be ashamed to say it. I'm never going to be ashamed to say it, but I do not do it to harm or to hurt people. Like if you be like, oh man, that was low or, you know, knock it off. Like I'll stop, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a jokey person. Like I joke all the time. That's my personality. Well, it's my personality if you know me for those of you that don't know me or don't have the privilege of knowing re then you probably get the type of person that's like hmm, well whatever you know what i'm saying but i joke and i laugh i like to laugh so if it's funny to me i'm gonna f make fun of it like i me and my sister go back and forth at it all the time so that's nothing you know what i'm saying like i that's how i am like if you don't like it then that's get away from me you know what i'm saying like it's it's that's how i am but i don't do it to make somebody feel bad at themselves and if they do like if i'm making you feel bad like let me know so i can be like okay i ain't gonna mess with them like even people like folks no lie like people that i went to high school with they will tell you like i'm not the like those high school bully or nothing like that i never like it has never been brought to my attention that i made somebody feel bad when i was in school or even now in my adult life like 
that ain't never happened to me. You know what I'm saying? So it's boundaries. Like you can't say that you like that's the only thing that I didn't like. Don't bully nobody. And then when you do bully somebody, like have the balls to say that you did it. Like don't be hiding and trying to oh, this is the truth. It is not the truth. The truth is that you're a bully, and you need to accept that and go get you some help. And then while you get in that help, you know, bring your other half in and get her some help, too, because she needs it, too. That's not the first time that I've witnessed her bullying somebody. It's not. I've witnessed it. I said it myself. Like, I don't appreciate the fact that you not some, like, this is not your name. This is not your name, regardless of what you, of what, you know, if I got, like, if. You know, my brother or sister or somebody was had like a a business or something like that, and I didn't like the people that he was on business with. I wouldn't be like, "Oh well, I don't like you, and we don't need your business," and blah blah blah. Like that's not good. All right, so I guess like because my cameras keep on like stop, they keep doing their own thing like they're not recording anymore they're they're like cutting me off and stuff it's time for me to go so i'll see y'all next week and next week we're going to talk about a missing persons case i'm not sure who is going to be the person that i talk about first um but i need to do a kendra johnson i want to do a kendra johnson video probably like sometime this week and i'll post that by friday so be on the look for that and I'll see you guys later. Bye.